Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. We have our special guest for us, Corey Lewis from Mortgage Connection. An important part of people buying properties, whether rural or residential, is gifted down payments. Corey, can you talk about that for a couple of minutes I for us? Absolutely, Stu. So as far as down payment goes, you know, there's a few different sources that you can pull those down payments from. So obviously saved and gifted is the ideal source. And they're pretty much treated the same by the lenders and the insurers, you know, um, as far as, you know, a gift versus a safe down payment. But there are some stipulations. If you're getting a gifted down payment, um, there are requirements that you will have to meet. Now, the biggest one is that gift typically has to be from an immediate family member. So that's, you know, siblings, parents, grandparents. On certain exceptions, some lenders will accept a gift from a spouse if the spouse isn't on the mortgage. But again, typically parents, grandparents, and siblings um, are what they're gonna wanna see. Aside from that, paperwork wise, what the bank is gonna request, if you are getting a, a gift for your down payment, every lender has a gift letter template. And that's just basically a one page form that has to be completed by both the buyers and their gift doors, outlining the amount of the gift, the relationship between the two of them, that the gift does not have to be repaid, the property details that it's for this specific purchase. In addition to that gift letter, the bank may require proof of the deposit into their bank account once they've received the gift and or confirmation of the source of the gift. Again, that can vary from one bank to the next. Does the gift have to sit in your bank account for a period of time, Corey? It does not. So in most cases, you know, that gift letter and proof of the deposit into your funds before possession is all that we need. It's a little bit easier than save down payment in which will often require a 90 day history on the funds. That's typically not required for gifted. So if someone is struggling to get the down payment together, you've just explained it for us, you can get it gifted from another direction as long as you stick to the rules, as we say. Absolutely. Okay. okay. All right. Well, that's gifted down payments for us, Curry, and we'll uh, we'll pick another okay. subject and we'll, we'll talk to you over the next couple of weeks. Sounds awesome, Stu. Have a great day. And you stay busy. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to be notified of new ones.